God also reveals himself uh, to us through Jesus. And in Hebrews 1, 1 through 3, it says, In the past God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom also he also made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being sustaining all things by his powerful word. When was the last time you read about Jesus? You really examined Jesus in the Gospels. You know what? If we look at the life of Jesus when we're having some sort of a struggle of our own, you can always ask the question, well, how would Jesus have handled that? And in almost every instance, the Gospels reveal the character of Jesus in ways that would allow me to say, maybe that's the way I should uh, approach this particular situation. God has revealed himself through his son. Think about that. The God who spoke the world into existence didn't even have to mess around with the chemistry lab, just said, light, let there be light. That same God who could do that to the universe also became a man and walked beside us. And we have that recorded in the Gospels. Think about that. It's so amazing when you think about a God who would do that for us.